back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And according to Darren Till on Twitter, Kobe Covington is out in his title fight against Tyron Woodley that was not even scheduled yet. We heard Tyron Woodley saying that he would like to potentially come back, I believe, around August. And that would have been, I believe, on the timeline for UFC 227. Now, we've already got title fights for UFC 227, but regardless, whenever Tyron Woodley was going to come back to fight, it was likely going to be against the interim champion, Kobe Covington. Kobe Covington just defeated Rafael Dos Anjos at UFC 225 to earn that interim strap, and so we expected him to be next in line. But taken to Twitter, Darren Till uh, tweeted to Tyron Woodley and accept, said, Accept this fight, mate. Tyron Woodley said, What fight? Ain't nobody offering me shit. I thought Queefington was still getting smashed next. Your challengers need to coordinate your ass whooping better. And he responded to Tyron Woodley and said, Kobe's out, son. It's me and you now. Accept the fight. Tyron Woodley said, Bahaha, this is a shit show. So this doesn't sound like it's out of nowhere. You don't usually see fighters tweeting at the champion saying, hey, accept the fight, your opponent's out. You know, that's not something, why would you troll like that? And, and, and for one, Darren Till is a guy who some people don't even feel like deserve a title shot. Hell, he doesn't even feel like he deserves the title shot. After Darren Till's close win over Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, he said, hell, let him fight for the title next. I'm not saying I deserve anything. I mean, I got the win. It is what it is. But... Hell no, I don't deserve a title shot. That was Darren Till's words out of his own mouth that he doesn't feel like he deserves it. But this is the question. If the number one contender, the interim champion, Kobe Covington, is out, then who does deserve the title shot? It would probably go to Darren Till by default unless you look at, like, a uh, Robbie Lawler. But Robbie Lawler, honestly, I believe, is coming off of that loss to Rafael Dos Anjos. And Darren Till, he did just beat the number one contender, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. So, if you look at the UFC World's Weight Rankings right now, Darren Till is definitely, I believe, the ranked number one fighter, uh, or ranked number two if you count Kobe Covington. I don't know if they have him listed as champion or number one. But Kobe Covington is definitely next in line with that win over Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Another thing about Darren Till potentially fighting for the title, though, is that he missed weight in his last fight, and I believe by like four pounds. And so with that being said, usually when you miss weight, that also takes away from your chances of getting the title shot. Now, when you're somebody that is in good graces, I guess you could say with the UFC, um, or sometimes if there's no other contenders, whatever reason, we've seen someone miss weight and still get a title shot. Most recently with Yoel Romero, he missed weight versus Luke Rockhold in the interim title fight, went on to um, win the fight, and he didn't get crowned the interim champion, but still got a title shot. Then I believe he also missed weight in the title fight versus Robert Whitaker. And that's unfortunate, but he didn't win the fight, or that would have been a whole shit show. But either way, um, with that being said, Darren Till did miss weight. And it looks like he still might be getting a title fight title fight um, out of default. I mean, there's nobody else to give the title shot to. So I'll keep you guys updated. Um, you heard it here first. I, I haven't seen this reported on any other MMA websites yet. Um, it's not official by any means because, like I said, I haven't talked to any of these fighters. I'm just going off the conversations on Twitter right now, bringing that to you guys. I'm sure we will be hearing a lot more about this tomorrow, so stay tuned. We'll keep you updated. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments about Kobe Covington potentially being injured and Darren Till stepping in to fight Tyron Woodley for the welterweight title if Kobe Covington can't make it to the fight. I'm out. And real quick before we get out of here, shout out to all the full-time MMA yellow boats that have hit the subscribe button, and also make sure you hit the notification bell right next to it so you get notified about every new video. And check the video description box if you're interested in full fight card breakdowns and predictions, also betting advice and more videos like this. But check this out. Right now, we've got the full-time MMA shooting startup going. And if we can get $2,500 by October 1st when our lease is up, we're going to be moving to a new studio and get the few things that we need to make this channel even better. We're going to start doing live shows every morning, full-time MMA in the morning, as well as live panels every Sunday after the fights. 
Also, if we can hit this goal by October 1st, we're going to be hitting the Shui live from the new studio during the live stream and possibly even during the fight companion, which we're going to start doing as well. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. Da 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 da! It's the motherfucking DOWG!